Buzzy Bird, welcome back to new Pokemon Snap. Today, we're heading back into the research facility so that hopefully we can go back on our expedition. At night, you might be able to see the Illumina phenomenon at the nature park. Observe your surroundings carefully. Yes, yeah, so we're going back into Florio Nature Park, but this time, I guess in the nighttime mode. Yeah, right here is open to the public, so most of the Pokemon there are, being, are used, used to being around people. All right then, so that means you're very photogenic. But yeah, we're going to the same place we went to last episode, the first episode, but this time in the nighttime version. So hopefully we can find more Pokemon doing more things. That would be really cool. And off we go. See, the last episode was a lot of fun exploring the game for the first time, really seeing all these different Pokemon. Oh look, there's a, you might Pokemon at night. Okay. Whoa, look at the flame feet. That's cool. Okay, you're running around. Uh, oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> That's so cute, I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got a Bufflin over this way. I love your little flame feet. I remember the more Pokemon in the shop, the better. Oh, wow, we got a, oh no, a Pidgeot. I sort of messed up the shot there. Um, hope I haven't messed too much more. He <laughs> looked sleepy. <laughs> Caught him snoozing. You are still just like, you know, scorching around here. Very cool. Uh, hmm. Here's some crowing. Interesting. Up there, up there. Whoa, it's a Murkrow. Very cool. Another one over that way. Oh, oh, do that again, do that again. No, no, wait, one more time. All right, whoa, something's happening. Um, over. Where? Two things, let's scan that. There's gonna be noises that are coming from this unnatural thing. Um, what do I do? Whoa, whoa, Caterpie and a pincer. Oh my goodness. Pincer, no, no, pincer. <laughs> there you go, that is weird. But the Caterpie was adorable as well. I feel like I need to go through this. Whoa, another time we got to our Terras and they're sleeping. Very cool, what is that? Oh, it's a Swana. Find it in the night. Get a really good close up shot of you snoozing. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's another Pidgeot. Oh, look at these guys. They're snoozing as well. I love it. <laughs> I love them. There's just so much wonderful things happening. All right, so you're running around. If I could, oh, it's hoping for a closer picture of you. Look at this hoot hoot, very ominous. What is that noise? Okay, we got a couple. A little late to bedtime, I see. All right, turn it around. Got a really close one to our terror. What is going on over here? We got a little, little nap. That is so cute. Oh, I love it. All right. Let's not miss out on too much here. We got the hoot hoot right up there. I was looking our way just now. Awesome, I'm glad that we got the photo then. Whoa, big pincer. Ah! <laughs> That's scary, I don't like it. It's so cool though because you know it really gives such a sense of scale to these Pokemon. Some of these things are huge. Hello. Whoa. All right, we got some. Honeycomb. Whoa, where do you run off to? Okay, wait, there's something else here. Where? Apparently, a little confused. Just telling me there's something. Oh, right here. Crystal Bloom. Hmm. Anything else going on? I definitely want to picture you guys. Hold on. I need a better angle, though. Interesting. Okay, so apparently there's a huge energy reading somewhere near us. Very cool to hear about that. But for right now, I feel like we took a lot of really cool pictures there. So let's definitely take a look at those and see which ones we wanna submit, which ones we wanna save. We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. 
All right, then. So first, our Bouffant, which we had a couple. That's actually a scored money. I have a sleeping one right here. Um, but that's where I want to see. They're all two star, just like the first blue font. I figured it might be a little bit different because, you know, they're sleeping and stuff, but I guess not, which is a little weird. But yeah, no matter what, this is a new one of Score Bunny. If these are all one star. Hmm. All right, well, definitely we want the sleeping one. We got Badoof here, and these are all one star. Look at this one, though. This one's the perfect one right here. Pidgeot, we got a couple. None that were super good. I sort of like the framing of that one, though. We got Murkrow. Hmm. All right, with all these from Murkrow pictures, I think this one's the best one. Uh, we got Combi over here. And once again, not really any good photos of Combi. I just sort of got a little snap of them here and there. Caterpie. Apparently, like, yeah, one of these is a one star, and the others are a four star. You know, like, no, 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 go back. Obviously, I want the four star one, right? Um, That's so weird, like, what was the difference? Who knows? But for Pinsir, we had a one star and a two star, so let's go for the two star. That was when he was, like, surprised. I will go for this one, I think, is, like, a nice close-up of him snoozing. Swana, we got a bunch, oh, like different stars for this one. So that was a two star event, but apparently we've already gotten that. So if we could find a one star Swana, right? Or am I getting this mixed up? I don't know what the exclamation mark is supposed to entail. I wish I could like check my collection. Well, apparently, yeah, I've gotten a one star before. Because if I go back to Badoof, I've gotten a one star before, and you can see that's the one that's highlighted. Okay, so with that being said, I want to do either the two star or the three star. Apparently this was a three star, I guess maybe a flying during the night, so I think that's probably worth getting out of the way now, and then we'll get the two star some other time, because that was pretty simple, just take a snap when they are going through that little river. Okay, so Hoot Hoot are all one star here. Um, I like this one, I like the sort of nice and dynamic. Ducklet, so cute as per usual, but we, don't really get anything new here. Um, over here we got Kruki. These are all one star as well, but it's, it's so cute. You'd think it would've gotten something better. Who knows? That's a really good picture of Pichu. And then we got <laughs> this picture of the, of the mound that Pinsir popped out of. Okay, we'll see what we get out of these. I don't know if it'll be anything good. Let's see his evaluation. Let's do this. Nice work. All right then, so another two star for Bouflant. This one was better, so I'll take it. All right, awesome. And then for Score Bunny. A new discovery. Yep, this is our first time taking a picture of Score Bunny. Very cool. Got some good points for it, too. Now this one, will it actually be better? Nope. All right, then we're gonna keep with this one. Oh, we got Pidgeot. That is a cool photo, the one I'm looking at. I like the framing to it. I don't think it's gonna get a good score, because it's not centered, it's not zoomed in, but it's still got 3,000 points. That's not too bad. Uh, we got Murkrow here. This is another new discovery. Uh, decent score. 3,000 seems like a nice average one to shot or shoot for. Uh, and that was, I thought that was a pretty average photo though. We got the Caterpie here. This one was a little weird. I just wanted the, the three star pose, four star pose. Like I just, I just, I'm still figuring out the stars. Like the amount of stars seems weird. I need to sort of like look it up later. Anyways, we got Pinsir. This one sort of scared me, but get two stars for it. And then Torterra, taking a snooze. All right, only 3,000. I thought it'd be better. All right, so far though, this is a much better Hoot Hoot picture. See, why are these both, like one of them he's sleeping, you'd think that, I don't know how this works. <laughs> I, I thought I, I thought I had an idea, but now it's very clear to me that I have no clue. Um, I don't think this is gonna be better. Yeah, no. Um, we'll keep with the higher star one for sure. We got Grookey Snooze, and this is a by far a better photo. Way more adorable. Like that's that's worthy for the timeline. Same thing with this one, for sure. Okay. So, for the park at nighttime, uh, we're currently level one. Still level one, but we're almost done it. Looks like you've got the hang of nighttime research. Keep up the good work. And 
You got a research title together with friends. You got to score 500 points or more in the other Pokemon category during a photo evaluation. You got a profile icon. You won your first expedition to Park Knight. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. All right then, so I don't think there's anything I want to say to the album. We can return to camp for right now. But still, very cool, lots of fun. So yeah, what was going on? We had some kind of big energy reading happening. And now they have something to tell us. It seems like it's gonna be exciting news. Very intriguing. Hello. Oh, something incredible has happened. Here, take a look at this. Here's the thing. When you got near that fear field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Also. Its source seemed to be moving too, if only slightly. Which suggests what we've got here is an Illumina Pokemon? We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Do you do you do anything special? I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where the reading is coming from. What? Oh, I wanna go see too. You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. Right. Please head out as soon as you're ready. Okay then, so I guess we're going right back over to there during the nighttime. Let's go to the Illumina spot in the nature park. We might find an Illumina Pokemon there. All right, are we going daytime, nighttime? Oh wow, it's a specific spot. After each expedition, you can save photos to your personal album. You can take la make last minute changes with a resnap function too. Very cool. Okay then, so let's try it again. But this is like a whole new spot to him, a little confused, but it seems fun. Well, that's definitely where the reading was coming from. Do you see or hear anything? Hmm. Not yet. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh, what is that? Whoa, look at you. I don't even know what Pokemon this is. My goodness. Hello. That Meganium's the Illumina Pokemon. Quick, get its picture. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go for it. Well, first, we'll take a quick snap. It's <laughs> right away. <laughs> oh, it's so goofy, I love it. It's a Meganium. Wait, no, zoom in. There we go, that's a beautiful shot. Over the shoulder, you're working it. All right, now turn around. Yeah, I feel like this is like some kind of model. Like a photo shoot we got. Oh, you're sniffing the flower. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's keep going. So you're running off right now. Does not like facing the camera. <laughs> Over the shoulder again. Oh, you were sort of halfway through blinking though. That's not good. <laughs> Would not be good if a photo or a Pokemon of this magnitude was not photogenic. Oh no, the tree was in the way. Seems like no matter what, you take it the full frame though. So don't even know if we have to worry too much about zooming in. Hmm. Oh, sniffing more flowers. That was a pretty cool shot, gotta be honest. That's a nice one too, I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well you're behind the tree now, I can't really. It'd be cool if I could like slow down or speed up my cart so I can get better angles, but can't really control that. All right, well you're full sprint over to the next tree. Oh, hey. Hi. It's like a dinosaur, it's super cool. And off it goes. Wow, that was absolutely wonderful. The energy reading is gone too. Let's chat when we get back. All right, well that was great. 
really interesting too. Okay, so let's move. But yeah, we got to see our first Illumina Pokemon. It was the Illumina, Illumina, I already forgot its name, Me Meganium, something like that. We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. So of course, there was only one Pokemon that we took a picture of, Meganium. Oh man, there's so many to choose from. Um, oh, I don't have to? What's going on here? Um, oh, maybe, hold on. If some of these like aren't valid for some reason, I, I wanna, you know, put them all in there. Why can't, it's a little unfortunate. Um, hmm, probably one of these is a three star though, right? I can't choose the three stars. It's shown right there, what are you talking about? It says you can upload photos in which the Illumina Pokemon phenomenon, Illumina phenomenon, okay. Maybe that's the issue. Okay, well if we have a limited selection to choose from here. Hmm. I'm thinking we'll go with, we'll go with this one. I like this one the best. All right then, I'll show it to the professor. Okay, so, really cool picture. Oh, it's Meganium. So this one got 4,600 points, not too bad. And that's level two. All right then, research level, Lumina Spot, nighttime, leveled up. And let's step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. There's only one Pokemon, but yeah, I would sure, sure hope so. So you got a research title, Nice Pose. You've got a score of a thousand points or more in the Pose category during a photo evaluation. Gentle Wonder, you registered the Illumina Pokemon Meganium to your photo decks. Cell Shade, you received the research title, Gentle Wonder. By the way, now that we've got that Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. I'll throw you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Ooh, well that's good. Always good to hear about good news. I do want to save some of these ones though. I feel like we had some cool shots here. Um, or some of the ones that made me particularly like, yeah. I think uh, there was a really good one, like this one. I'll save that. And I'm curious about the resnap feature. So, oh, okay, we can like, oh, that's so cool. So we can zoom in and out. Like it's sort of, Interesting, it doesn't just like save a photo. It saves like that moment in time in the game. All right, uh, perfect, wonderful. Um, I don't really need to change too much now. I don't know if there was too much more. I think I'll leave it that one. That one was like probably our best one. Other ones were like, Good, but at weird angles, so. We got something nice. Let's go back to camp. See what else is going on. Professor Mir, a Pokemon professor active in Lentil after his research into the Illumina phenomenon was recognized, he was authorized to conduct a survey of the entire region, which is what we've been doing right now. Okay, so this gave us so much fun so far. Really interesting. Yes, you're back. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And was it saying something? Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Look who's talking. You were practically dancing, Professor. <clears throat> Moving on. There's no doubt about it. That Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like the in the legends. Remind me what the legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor? Didn't they supposedly save Luntil from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? So the story goes, yes. Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns and to glow with unusual light. Sounds like our new friend. <laughs> Thank you, I'm blushing. Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up our research. Hang on, 
Wasn't there one more important thing you were gonna mention, Professor? That's all right, it's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. All right, sounds good. So, looks like we're leaving a bit of mystery. Morning. Good morning, did you manage to get some sleep? Now, as Rita already told you, I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region. No sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet. But fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Really? Well, you know, maybe. For a scientist, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. Still, I think it's a good idea. It'll be way more fun with you along. Right. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? I would love to. All right, so we're officially a part of the crew. Well, I'll do my best. Excellent. Well then, let's make it official. Whoa, -ho -ho, nice. I love it. It's like you were born to wear it. Well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits. Not to rain on your parade, Rita, but I need to get a couple more things ready first. Aw, oh, come on. Just a little bit longer, all right? I promise it'll be worth the wait. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do, to do some Pokemon research. Interesting, so, oh, what do we got? You got a sticker, Team Badge. You officially joined the Lentil Region Research Team. And we got another team badge. You should join the Lentil region. Oh, so this is the profile icon, gotcha. Okay then, so, yeah, where else can we research? All right. Now that you're a full-fledged team member, I have something for you that'll come in handy. As for the explanation, would you do the honors, Rita? Yes, sir. Huh? But is it just me, or have you been getting me to do a lot more of the work lately, Professor? Mm. Oh, well, time to explain like the great assistant I am. This is a fluff rune. They grow here in the Lentil region. They're sweet and tasty, and they make a great snack for Pokemon. They may look just like regular apples, but they're way lighter and softer. Well, that's weird how she mentioned apples. I don't think they do that in the normal Pokemon games. It's like mention like real world fruit. It's always like some kind of, you know, special berry for Pokemon. Huh, weird. You'll probably make a Pokemon say if you toss in one of these. Let's get you some practice. All right then, so we'll give it a try. Tutorials are based on, yeah, 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 we know. No worries. You can throw a fluff fruit by pressing the B button. Give it a try. All right, so I'll give this a little toss. There, see, it came to get a fight. Who doesn't love a little snack? You can move the pointer around to aim your throw. It's the same as aiming your camera. Just move the left stick to aim, then press the B button to throw. Give it another try. Okay, so I'll throw the fruit over. Hopefully Pikachu will take notice of one of these. There we go, look at that one right in front of him. I mean, I, I did, it's just he's, he's not paying attention. Hmm. Oh no, okay. <laughs> okay, she lost patience with me. Um, awesome, well we threw a couple. Pretty easy, right? I think that should be all you need to know. So I guess now we just wait until the professor gives us the green light to move on. Oh, I've got an idea. You should try trusting out the fluff fruit and taking some more photos in the meantime. The professor says there are all kinds of ways to use it. Finished explaining, I see. Thanks, Rita. I've got one more thing to tell you about for now. I thought it would be handy to have a quick way to share way to share what we see and learn in the field. Are you too familiar with Len Talk? Oh. Rings a bell, I think. Yep. It's a communication tool folks here in Lent in Lentil use. Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field. You can send a photo and a description over Len Talk. Mm. I can use it to send things I notice on the monitor too. That sounds super fun. By the way. Look for Lent Talk messages in the top right of the screen at the research camp and elsewhere. They ought to help. 
All right then, interesting. So for right now, I don't know if there's like anywhere new to go to, which is fine, and go back to the old areas and sort of explore them some more. Hopefully we can use the fruit a little bit more to find more stuff. Um, so we'll try the daytime again. See what we can get done here. And maybe now that, you know, we can get it to higher levels, more Pokemon will show up, they'll be more comfortable, all of that kind of stuff. All right, well, let's give it a try and hope for the best. Okay, so some of this stuff here we're pretty used to. Do your best. But I'm hoping we can just like snap some nice photos like that. Um, Maybe toss a couple of apples, get their attention. Maybe that's where I could have taken that chance. Like who knows? Oh, hey, you want it? Go get it. While you're doing that, I'm gonna... There we go. That's gotta be like something, right? Like a new star of some form. But I did take a peek and it did look like, you know, the different stars are for Pokemon doing different things. So, ah, oh, you weren't super interested. I've already got a picture of you sleeping. So if you want an apple, let me know. Whoa, look at you, mid-flight and everything. Hmm. Whoa. That was pretty cool. Oh, there's something to scan around here. Where? Right there. All right, well, we, I think we've already scanned those. That's a little weird. Here we go, Wormpal, would you mind? Chewing on one of those? There we go, little guy. Look at you. Oh, he's eating it. Very good. Okay, so hopefully, like, you know, them eating and stuff would be something new. There's Wormpal everywhere. Oh, crazy. There we go, right over the little horizon. Let's toss it over to, oh, no, okay, you guys aren't super, that sort of scared them off. Weird. Uh, oh, nice. I don't know if that was a good photo, actually, but okay. Are you guys interested? Oh, maybe they are. Go ahead, eat it up. Oh, so cute. While that's happening, we can toss one over to you guys. Oh. Oh, they're turning their nose up to it, like literally. Actually, oh, that might have been a pose I just missed. Darn. Um, <laughs> every, there's just like, this is why you gotta play through each level like multiple times, I suppose. Hey, buddy. Um. Okay, something else to scan. I already got these guys before. I don't know where our scanning thing is. Uh. Over there, apparently it's magic card, but we've already taken a picture of that. Why you turned around? Buddy, no wait. <laughs> Donked him on the head, I don't think he's interested. Okay, uh, poor magic card. Here, take a fruit. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, wait, do that again, do that again. You got some major error that time, but I missed it. Darn, that could have been something big. So I guess maybe throwing the apple on him will get them like different, events like that. Okay, taking a picture of Taylor plenty of times. I don't think Taylor is interested in fruit. And there's so much going on over here. So what we want is to toss some more apples at them. <laughs> Just toss them everywhere, I suppose. Somebody's gotta go for it, right? You're most of the teleport point. I'm working on it, I know. Okay, neither of them are interested. What about you? Ooh, maybe? You're looking for it? Whoa, there we go. Yummy, right? I've already given it to the boo plant. All right, and we're done. We're good, we're out of here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, there's that done, there's that out of the way. Hopefully we got some new stuff. I have to imagine, because they were eating and stuff, right? So, very cool. How was it? How's your research go? I can't wait to see if you found anything new. Me too. All right then, so starting with Booflant, before we've gotten one and two stars, so him eating actually is not anything new. 
That's a little weird. Um, but let's compare. Uh, yeah, the two star was of him sleeping. Okay. Well, hopefully some of these of him eating are good. We got Pichu, nothing really good here. I mean, I don't even know if it's like even worth Well, actually, so before we've got a one star. This is a two star, right? Yeah, very good, very good. And same thing with Pichu, one star, one star, okay. Vivalon, we've gotten the one star, no two stars yet. Uh, Bidoof, we've got a one star, these are all one stars. Why are like all these so difficult for Bidoof? I don't understand. Amolga, uh, yep, all two star. So I thought that was like that was like the pose Amolga was given was the two star effect. I have no clue. Um, Wurmple, we've gotten one star before. We now have two star with Wurmple eating. That's great. Um, which one is the best one? You tell me. <laughs> uh, there we go. Swana, nothing new. Cool photo of, of Swana flying now. Talo, same deal. Nothing new. Ducklet. We do have some two star now with Ducklet eating. Tangrowth, <laughs> got him from the back. Yeah, I was trying to get Magikarp while I was jumping there. Okay, so before we got one star, now we have two. So let's sort of like comb through these a little bit. I like it when the apple is half eaten. That looks nice. All right then, let's go and show these to different professors. We haven't sent a photo for every folder. Yeah, this is all I wanted to show. Okay. Let's do yeah. This. So, two stars just like before, but is it better? Yeah, just barely. Got Grookey, totally new photo. The Doof. Wow, it's a better photo. All right. I don't know. The last one's really good. We got Wurmple. Not a better photo, so we're not gonna take it. Uh, this is a new ducklet. Always good to see Forgus. Really nice photo as well. All right. So we got a couple of new star things there, and hopefully we get a level up. We'll see. Ah, not quite. Your photos get better and better. I'll make sure our research keeps up with your progress. All right then. So we could retry if we wanted to. Maybe I want to go to give another go at nighttime now and see if we can't see anything new there. Okay, so here we are back at the nighttime. Um, and I'm hoping I can like toss an apple at Score Bunny here. No, just eat the apple, please. All right, um, we'll try some other stuff then. One of you has to be interested. That was a good pose though. That sleepy boo plant. <laughs> I'm sorry, I woke you up. I, I promise it wasn't entirely intentional. Um, yeah, a lot of these guys just aren't interested in it. Sort of a shame. I love this field of sleepy bouffant though. Whoa, hey, there you go, you're like sneezing. I caught you by surprise, that was cute. How did I not see you before? You're just chilling out here, hey buddy. Whoa, whoa, okay. Hey, I need to snap more photos. Like I just need to go crazy with it, because I have a bunch of photos left over every time. Like maybe I, I hesitate too much. You're not really facing the best direction for that. Do you want to eat another one? Oh, he is. He's hyped about it. Um. All right. Maybe try a scan. Where? Uh, here apparently. It always wants me to scan the same stuff. I, I've already scanned this. Okay, so I need a normal picture of Caterpie here. Maybe like toss an apple over. Come on, get a, one of you has to be interested, right? That's a really cute photo of them all. Uh, I really don't mean to wake you up, buddy, but would you be interested? No, nothing's, nothing's disturbing him from that slumber. Okay, uh, I really just wanna throw one of those, like super far, oh. Did you see it? You're doing something. All right, score bunny, can you get back here? Just eat an apple. We've been running around, burning all those calories. Look at you snoozing. Like that has to be one. We haven't gotten an extra picture of Bidoof like that yet. 
I think there's gonna be right here. Ready? Couldn't get that of the ducklet though. Hmm. Oh, I hear this Murkrow flying above overhead. That was my apple. Hey, buddy. All right, one of those has to be good, right? I'm actually running out of photos this time. No, 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 can you get back here? Please eat an apple. Eat an apple. <laughs> They're good for you, I promise. Apparently they keep the doctor away. All right. Oh, look at you, you look prime for a midnight snack. There you go, I don't mean to hit you with it. It's a little rude, I'm so sorry. He's giving me the side eye right now, he's mad I woke him up. I know it's time, but just give me a couple more seconds here. Oh, oh, you're going for it. You're in a delicious little apple snack. And then you again, which apparently this is like not. Oh, there we go. That's all, your memory. all right then, so we actually used every photo slot that time. Like maybe that's something I'm missing is that I'm just not taking enough photos. So we'll see how that goes. Hope for the best. Do we get any new star ratings or anything? I'd love to see. Oh, you're back. You look hungry to take more photos. I I hope the Pokemon are hungry for more fruit because I got a lot of it apparently. But do you, um, nothing new. I mean, these are great photos though. Like you can't, you can't deny. Like how is that like not a new thing? Is him sleeping or him up here with the stick? Like I, every photo I've got of Badoof is like a unique photo of Badoof, but apparently none of them are good enough. It's weird. Anyways, I might as well like take some of these to see if they like a better star rating. Like, I like the little field of Boofland. I really like this one. Score Bunny typically got one star, but we do got two star this time when we caught him by surprise. Pangroth, this is a three star for some reason. I guess he was like doing his morning stretch. Uh, we did get some two star as well of him eating the fruit. Which I feel like that is something I can recreate more easily than snapping this. Um, Murkrow, nothing new. I'll, you know, try though. Caterpie, before I got a four star, somehow. So um, I can take that one star. Pinsir over here, before we got a two star, which was like him coming out of the dirt. I guess like just the right time. But if we time it wrong, it's a one star, which we need is a one star. Um. We don't have a two star, so these are good. I don't know, like, what makes this a two star? <laughs> what is going on here? Um, it's a nice photo though. Uh, which is what we need, so I'm happy with that. Pidgeot, previously was one star, this is also one star. Uh, Torterra, we previously had a one star, so these two stars are good, is all weak and stuff. Um, Hoot Hoot. Same deal, really. None of these are gonna be better or worse, I don't think. And Combi, which we definitely got something to do with Combi. Combi was eating some fruit. It's not a good photo, but the star rating is what I feel like is, is more important. And I could try and see if this is any better. I don't think it's gonna be. Let's give it a try. What do we get this time? Yeah, let's see what we got. Um, Seems ordinary enough. Great timing, this is well taken. Not better points, but just barely not better. Seems brave and bold, doesn't it? I mean, I suppose. Nice work. Not a better photo. So like, what about Scorbunny? This is like a different thing. It's a two-star photo, that's new. It looks curious, what about, I wonder? Great timing, this is well taken. All right, nice score. I got 10 growth. Nice work. Uh, this looks like behavior worth studying. Nice work, keep it up. All right, so I think it was like doing like a little stretch is the idea. Nice work. All right then, so, uh, not as good of a photo apparently. Caterpie, well as again, we wanted like a basic photo. Nice work. So we'll take it. 
One star, that's new. Nice work. Somehow, really good points. Uh, Swana, two star, also new. Nice work. Really good score. Nice work. Almost, almost better. By 10 points, it was not. And then for Terra, mm -hmm. this is a cool photo. What do we get for it? Almost 4,000. Hoot hoot again. Nice work. Well, 4,260. I don't think we've gotten 5,000 yet. Maybe that's like the perfect photo. Nice this is not gonna be a good score, yeah. Below 3,000 doesn't seem to be super good. All right then, so that should definitely get us to level two. Yeah, all right, we go from level one to level two, which means more Pokemon doing more stuff. I sort of want to go through it again, and let's step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. All right then, it's so, like I could go for it again, but I think we'll leave it for later. Maybe we could go and do the Illumina Pokemon one more time to see if like maybe tossing an apple at them would be good. Regardless, we can sort of just submit it again for like different poses, because we can, even when there's only one Pokemon. Whoa, what's happening? Well, look who it is. Todd. Hi, Todd. Hey, Professor, it's been a while. So we got Todd. Don't know who Todd is, but it seems like the professor knows them. Now then. This is Todd. He's a professional Pokemon photographer. His work takes him all over the world. Hi. Are you the one who caught an Illumina Pokemon on, on camera? Way to go, that's a big deal. So? Todd, did you bring what I asked you to? Hmm. I sure did. Thank you. Here, a lifesaver. Now we'll finally be able to set out. Huh? Is this guy a friend of yours, professor? An old travel companion, to be precise. He's been helping me plan our big survey of lentils, too. Huh. No kidding. Ooh, is that the new pod you put together? Reminds me of the good old days. Okay. But hey, let's see those Poke those Illumina Pokemon photos. Wow, you've really got an eye for this. Hmm. Thank you. Hey! Huh? Back off, kid. Get your own mentor. Who is this? <sighs> so you're the new teammate, huh? I'm Phil, Todd's number one student. Okay, Easy yeah. there, Phil. Well, I'm tempted to take part in this big ecological survey myself, but I have another idea. How about I send Phil with you instead? I mean, if you're sure. I'm fine with that if you are, Todd. Awesome. Yes, awesome! You can be my stand for now, but don't forget, I'll need that badge back eventually. Oh, fine. But I, if I take a super cool photo, I get to keep the badge. So yeah, what's an ecological survey? Oh boy. Meeting all sorts of new people. Okay. Now that you're all here, we can get started. Listen up, team. I'm going to give you a breakdown of the survey. All right, I'll cheer the breakdown. Now then. This is Forio Island, our home sweet home. The circled spot right here is our camp. Also. But this survey will take us past these shores. Mm. And this will be our first destination. But Belusilva, Belusilva, Founja Jungle. Founja Jungle? Hey, Not sure. Why are we starting there? I've detected a spot there with high energy readings. The Neo One should be able to teleport to it. The sound showed up in the tra travel log, right? Mm -hmm. It certainly did. Captain Vinch wrote that he saw the glowing Pokemon there too, in fact. Come on, Come on already. Let's get this survey thing started. Agreed. Fair enough. Anyway. Enjoy your first inter-century adventure into the wilds of Lentil. Wow, very cool. So we'll be going there in the next episode. We had a lot of fun today. It was really fun exploring everything and it looks like there's like different things going on. Oh, oh these are like different people taking pictures. That's so cool. Um, well, this is Rita, but uh, there's like, I guess other players as well. When Ma Meganium gets to this spot, it starts looking around kind of restlessly. You think it's looking for one of its friends? Maybe, maybe we could find more uh, Pokemon here than I thought, we'll have to wait and see. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of New Pokemon Snap. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.